What difference do you think you could, you can make? What, what? <laughs> well, um, I think even though small, I think a lot of young girls will have someone to turn to, someone to listen to. Um, so I know that in terms of role models in Thailand, a lot of teams might be looking at the wrong thing. Um, everyone has access to the internet now, uh, so they, they can see everything, they can learn everything but they might not know exactly um, what to do with all the information. And I remember doing research last year and I saw that they changed um, the topics in the school, so they implemented um, more uh, focus on sexual education. Mm -hmm. I saw that, but I also saw that the statistics for teen pregnancies are still going up. Mm -hmm. So I thought that there's something there that's still not right. Mm -hmm. And so I assume that there's something in society. It was, a, it was just a topic that people have a certain thought about already. So can you tell me more about that? So you said your Thai friends, mm -hmm. you've noticed like the boys and the girls. Mm -hmm. what, what do you think, why do you, do you think it's a difficult thing to talk about? And is it that people don't want to talk about it? Or is it a cultural thing? What's your impression of why there's still not enough awareness? It's very ingrained into society. Um, and also, just for an example, I know that it's very common for a man to have sort of the home kick, you know, like extra, extra girls mm -hmm. as a side. Mm -hmm. And it just shows to us how much dominance that they have and how much say they have because women will know about this, but they assume it's okay, it's something that's normal, it's something that's in the culture. Mm -hmm. So, this to me was a, sort of the, the point that made me really like, frustrated. And uh, that's sort of started the fire. It's just not fair. Why can, why are they, why are men allowed to get away with this, and why are women allowing that to happen to themselves? Because they're not happy about it either. But mm -hmm. they assume that it's normal, that it's okay. So, you, is there a situation where you will be able to speak directly with young women? Obviously, you met young women today who, unfortunately, have already found themselves in this situation. How do you see you could advocate to prevent the girls getting pregnant mm -hmm. in the first place? Have you got any ideas? Or? Well, just as a starter, I think now is the time to sort of create and um, create awareness in my campaigns. Mm -hmm. I think that's how I will advocate to this cause for now. Mm -hmm. But my future plan, in, like my, my five-year plan basically is when I finish the Miss Universe competition, no matter how that goes, I will come back here. And I want to start my own social enterprise, which is about team building and working together and learning how to express oneself, which I think is a very important part to this aspect as well. It's about expressing yourself, about knowing that you have you have you have an opinion and you have the right to express that opinion. Mm -hmm. Like we heard just now about how mm -hmm. um, her boyfriend didn't want to use condom, but she didn't really have any bargaining power there. Mm -hmm. So this is um, a social enterprise that I really want to set up. So I think team building is something that's also very fun. It can help in many aspects in life, including this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So when you're on the world stage, what, mm -hmm. what, will, you, what will you have to say? They're going to ask you about mm -hmm. this issue in Thailand. What, mm -hmm. what can you tell them about the issue as you see it? I know it's an issue that teens are willing to talk about it. Teens are the ones that are being, they're involved in this. Sexual education and the topic of sex is something that, as you saw, they're really willing to, uh, to talk about it, but it's mm -hmm. sort of the older generation, I think, that sort of creates a shadow, an overcast a, a concept that says, yeah, that's not okay, that's not right, especially also with Buddhism, I think. Um, but that's why I want to open the conversation and make it more common to, or make them understand that there's this issue, and this is what's happening right now, and we can talk about it. So what's your impression of today? We've met some amazing young women. Um, what's your impression? What, how do you feel today after um, meeting the girls and finding out their real stories? What's your, what's your feeling at the end of the day? It makes me feel that the issue is definitely very real. It's there. I haven't spoken to any team moms like I have today, 
who have experienced these issues, and it makes me feel that the girls here are very strong. They're willing to learn. They're willing to change, and they're yeah, they're ready to learn. They're ready to to make a difference. It's just about the supplies that are there and the people around that are willing to actually help. So, and I'd like to be a, one of those parts, one of the moving parts to make it help. So, I think it's a very good start and a very good opportunity for me to be here, get information. There's so much I still need to do, so much I still need to learn. So, yeah, I'm very happy that at least today I got to come and see the situation a little bit. Got a lot to do. As I like, um, as you grow up uh, from you know a child to adolescence and now like, being adult yourself, what rights do you think like is really essential for you know especially girls and also men to you know to know um, that the society should entitle them to have? Well, in regards to Thailand, um, because of the book that you gave me last time, it's very interesting to see that Thailand actually has a lot of laws that support. Um, mothers support teenagers for education. So no matter what, a teenager is all, always has a right to education. So for example, in their own school, if they become pregnant and they don't feel comfortable, um, the school is obligated to find them another place to, to continue teaching them so they can finish their education, which I think is extremely important. And really important for girls who go through this issue to know because a lot of times they think they feel abandoned and they they stop their education and, and then it all maybe falls down from there. So this is something very, very good in Thailand that they should know. And more on more rights, but um, more about sort of self-confidence and self-esteem is important for people to be able to be able to express how they feel. Which I think a lot of times with maybe the Thai culture Girls feel like they they can't exactly express what they're feeling inside, so they just allow certain things to happen. But that's something that I want them to really learn how to have a voice for themselves. I think you've got the best platform for that, mm -hmm. and you know that's actually related to another topic we're going to be writing about, which is girls understanding that they do have rights and they can say no and they have mm -hmm. a say in their own you know, not just day to day life but their destiny and all of those things. So it's a very powerful message and it can make such a difference. On behalf yes. of like young people, you and FPA would like to invite you to join the session or, you know, the thing, the activities to power girls to speak of their um, feelings and attitudes, opinions. You can be a fantastic connection point. Is I think a wonderful opportunity. I'd love to. That's the whole purpose. Yeah. I want to be a good person. 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 I ความช่วยเหลือเพราะว่าใครก็ตามก็ทําอะไรคนเดียวก็ยากต้องมีคนรอบข้างที่ช่วยแล้วที่นี่ก็เป็นที่ที่สามารถช่วยสาวไวสายได้แล้วรู้สึกซึ้งมากค่ะวันนี้เป็นจริงจริงจริงที่นี่บ้านฉุกเฉินคือแบบเขาเรียกว่าอะไรนะคือต้อนรับสําหรับผู้หญิงที่ต้องการความช่วยเหลือจริงๆแล้วไม่ใช่เฉพาะไม่ใช่เฉพาะวัยรุ่นแต่ว่าก็คือสําหรับคนที่ท้องยังไม่พร้อมยังไม่พร้อมใช่ค่ะแล้วผู้หญิงที่ถูกทำร้ายด้วยค่ะมีหลายประเภทนะคะที่นี่ประเทศเลยซึ่งเราเห็นแล้วไม่น่าเชื่อว่าสังคมเราสามารถมีแบบนี้ได้แต่ว่าก็มีแล้วเราต้องเรียนรู้วิธีที่ต้องหยุดทุกอย่างแบบนี้ค่ะหยุดความถูกทําร้ายแล้วก็เรียนรู้สึกคิดของตัวเองด้วยก่อนที่จะอะไรจะเกิดขึ้นได้ก็จริงๆมันก็เป็นเรื่องยากนะสำหรับเรื่องเรื่องนี้มันเป็นปัญหาที่เกี่ยวข้องกับทุกๆุกหลายด้านหลายด้านเพราะว่าไม่ใช่แค่ไม่ใช่แค่การศึกษาอย่างเดียวคือมาจากครอบครัวด้วยมาจากเพื่อนๆด้วยสิ่งที่เราเห็นทางอินเทอร์เน็ตด้วยคือแบบทุกอย่างเลยมีกำลังใจให้น้องๆทุกคนที่อยู่ที่นี่แล้วก็
น้องทุกคนในประเทศไทยที่หลาต้องช่วยกัน